In this presentation, you will learn about developmentalism as a theory on gender and development. In this theory, we will identify obstacles to women's participation in national development. The developmental approach has perceived that modernization has affected men and women differently and seeks to locate the causes preventing women from participating in the development process. The developmental perspective basically views social change differently from the modernization theorists. This difference can be found in three basic ideas. Society is not seen as a single unit so that changes in one area will generate changes in other areas. Therefore, technologies introduced to raise productivity as part of development planning does not benefit women as it does men. There are contradictions in the process of social changes. Thus, women's exploitation may increase if only employment is created and not wages and working conditions. Conscious policies are necessary to move society in a particular direction. In this, external forces and national leaders play a positive role. The failure to implement a development program has led to developmentalists taking a modified approach to the problem of women in development. They feel that it is important to look at women as rational decision makers. They point out that by concentrating on increasing the value of the GNP, the full production of a society is undervalued and the question of distribution is ignored. The contribution of women in hidden sectors is not taken into account. This involves neglect in non-market work done in households, subsistence agriculture and the informal labour market, all of which is done more often by women than men. It has also led to policies which impede its productivity. Women suffer an increasing narrowing of social roles and capacity to generate income as little attention is paid to upgrading non-market work. Esther Bosarup and others have proposed expanding the GNP to include women's work as a strategy to include assessment of their costs in the formation of development goals. Thank you for watching the presentation. To like, share, subscribe and leave your comments about this presentation or any other topic you would like to learn more about.